let's just push through the center here. Develop the knight. Four knights. Let's go for an x-ray through to the queen. And open up the dark square bishop. For ready for castling. Let's get this bishop out. Ready for castling. Oh, they've taken the chance. Okay, so I'm going to take the bishop because it's on the queen, higher piece. Going to not take just yet. I think I will take the knight and attack the pawn. Ordinarily, this would come down. Then we can tear the knight off the board, doubling the pawns there. So they're going to feel fairly strong because they've got the pawns facing our king area and they've got this half open file if we dare to go and castle on the queen side but for the moment the dark square bishop is blocked so i think they'll make inroads into try and open that up there's nothing else that i can immediately attack i could push the pawn forward but i think i'm going to go and castle So they're attacking the rook, so I'll just bring the rook off of the line. My immediate question is, well, what is the bishop going to do for the rest of the game? So now they're looking to attack our king area, probably bring the rook here, getting the queen here type thing. So because we know this, maybe we should start making some inroads into pushing onto the pawn here. See if he takes, if he doesn't. Gives them something to think about. Bishop's feeling happy that it's blocking this way, but we could potentially just push the pawn here. So I'm going to attack the head of the snake. That's part of our ethos, part of our mantra. So could take with the queen, probably just to give the queen a bit of access to things such as this pawn. So that's what we're going to do, just take the, take the pawn with the queen. Look to maybe block here if... Obviously the queen's going to protect either coming here or here. Oh, it's actually coming down for its own. In fact, it's attacking our knight. So if we came here, it's still going to be attacking our knight because it's going to take the pawn. So do we still just go and take the pawn? Is there one, two, two pawns for the knight? One, two, or we get his bishop. Yeah, so take and he takes the um, knight, we take the bishop, our queen is on the other side of the board. His queen is here, his rook is ready and raring to go. It's ready to go here. And our queen can come back and block. Does that make sense? I think it makes sense. Queen here, queen takes, happy as Larry. We take... I don't think they'll leave the bishop there, I think they'll move the bishop somehow, but just let's say that they don't. We go there, we've got the diagonal, brings his rook here because he's looking for, to get the finish. We bring the queen down, attacking the queen. Okay, I think we're going to go with that and see what, how the land lies. No, they've moved the bishop. So we can move the queen now, just blocking the queen. Doubling the pawns. I think that's the safest bet, isn't it? There's no point taking the pawn here. Yeah, I think that could work. We do also have the option of pushing our pawn onto their queen, but still doubles the pawns. So let's just attack the queen. I would expect them to take because it's doubling our pawns, but you know, you never know. Oh, they haven't. Okay, so they're still hunting for the. Well, actually, the rook is going to be coming here, so hitting this pawn. So if we get the knight across here, we're protecting that area. Yeah, does that make sense? Makes sense to me, so let's go. I think the rook is still going to go there anyway. We're looking to try and get rid of the knight from that position, but we can push the pawn up. Yeah, 
like I said, Mortis set to go there. Could attack the Queen. I think that's the simplest thing, just attacking the Queen. Chomping up a bit, the Knight's protecting at the moment. And they eventually capture, so we capture. So owning this file is kind of, well, to me it feels probably crucial for us. But attacking the knight, so simple capture, moving the king out of the way when the rook puts a check on. So I think we'll just continue with the rook owning the file. Does capture, keeping it nice and simple, rook puts a check on, get the king here. I don't really see a problem with that. Probably now start bringing the rook up. This rook in the center of the board might cause them some problems, hopefully. Let's double. Let's double. Probably squeezing to come here. Nope. Oh, okay, so he's squeezing to... We'll get a check on the king. Take with a check on the king, get a pawn off. Ooh, you get the pawn off. And not getting his other rook now. <clears throat> okay, so his king is advanced up the board. Mm hmm. Could hit it, but it's kind of driving it further down, isn't it? And then his rook's going to come here, put a check on our king, if our king goes across. What's the story? Maybe just attack this pawn. Yeah, let's just attack this pawn. This rook's wanting to get out of there. Oh, okay. Um, in or out. Ooh, let's go here. Rook comes here, attack it. What? Is that a mouse look? Okay, take. Push the pawn. So he's forever. He's not going to take the pawn. I'm going to leave that because if he does, then obviously we get like a pass pawn, which is well, oh dear me, he's gone behind the pawn. So we get a queen. With the check and start just taking the pawns off. Do you know, I thought the pawn was protected by the queen. <laughs> oh dear, okay, push anyway. Just looking for a stalemate area. But there's no. He's got plenty of space. Plenty of space, do the step ladder. Simple. It looks like they've left the game. This flag thing is called like a resign button, isn't it? We'll claim a victory on this one. All right. So that happened. It seemed to be flowing quite nicely, did that game. It was moving fairly fast. And I don't think there was any major advantages until the opponent maybe gave us the gave us the gold. Let's have a look at the situation. Okay, so we're moving through. Uh, let's see if there's any major dips. Capturing. Oh, that looks okay so far. It's attacking. Ooh, doesn't like the rook move. Interesting. What's he wanting to do? Oh, it's pushing the pawn. Yeah, it's saying push the pawn. But that rook that's in the center of the board that they've got. Not too sure about that. So we captured. Oh, it's not laughing at that. It's not laughing at that either. But did we do? Queen taking A1. <gasps> I can't believe I missed that. <laughs> oh, crap.
cranky, sick, was so focused on the plan of the queen, you know, the queen taking the night type thing and... Oh, I don't believe it. Look at that glaring. Well, that's my lowly little self. That's what my eyes see. Just a nice lowly chess player who loves to play chess and find things out like this. Brilliant. Okay, so we came down, still minus what to wish type thing. Oh, brilliant. And they're still trying to get the check on our king. So we go up. So it's not showing major disadvantages with the continuation that happened. So we're feeling okay about the rook ownership of the open file. Yeah, so that's all pretty straightforward at that point. I don't think we made anything majorly bad. Yeah, 